Hey Divi friends, it's Josh here. In this tutorial, I've got a quick one for you. I'm gonna show you how to stop your words from breaking on mobile in Divi. So I see this all the time, typically with titles and font sizes that are really big or bold that look great on desktop and tablet, but they look bad on mobile. And a lot of times what you'll see is if you have a really long word, it will actually break and it'll go over multiple lines on mobile. So for example, I've set up this title here that's a heading one, and I've just called it extra super long word. So we're gonna pretend like we have a really long word or a long title here. We're gonna go ahead and look at this in re responsive end. So I use inspect element, and I've made sure that I'm on the responsive mode. You can see, sure enough, this word is not only jumbled up on mobile, but it's stretching over multiple lines. It's not, re it's not responsive. So the first thing I would recommend doing is more than likely going into your mobile settings and just making sure that all of your headings are smaller on mobile to account for bigger words like this. So we could go into the module settings on the mobile side and we could maybe bring this down to like 34. And you can see it's still wrapping right there. It's wrapping to the other line so we could just keep on going down until we get there to where it's even now that would work okay for this but the same problem is going to happen with other long titles so i have a little a neat little trick here let's bump this back up to maybe like right there to where we would love to be able to just get this word on one line it would be awesome right because right now it's stretching down to the second line whereas if we could just bring that d up to be perfect so there's just a little CSS trick I'm gonna show you that I use all the time on heading and, and font sizes in Divi. It's called overflow dash wrap. So I'm gonna say overflow dash wrap and you see it gives me some options here. And I'm gonna click normal. You can see by selecting over wrap normal, it's gonna bring that word out. Now, the padding you'll notice is not the same on the right, but if this works for you, it works. I mean, I've done this a lot of times on my sites to where I put this in there just in case, that way I don't have to go through each heading and adjust all the font sizes or even do something globally. Um, this is a really good solution. Now, one thing I wanted to note was that Overflow Wrap is what it's called now. It used to be called Word Wrap. So you could do the same thing. I think if you still put in Word Wrap, and then we'll say normal. Yep, it still works. So you can use word wrap, uh, but overflow wrap is the new terminology for it that CSS added. So I would recommend that. But that is a very good handy little trick in that case. So we're going to say overflow wrap. Oops, let's make sure we spell that right. Overflow wrap, normal. And there we go. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you in this case, because check this out, you could bring the font up, but it's going to bring that way past the screen. So you're going to want to make sure if you use this, that your fonts are not going past the screen on mobile. One thing I wanted to show you though as well, if you get into this and if you're comfortable with CSS, you'll see that every row has an automatic width right here of 80%. So this is set at 80 and that's the reason we're seeing padding on the left and right. Now watch this, if I bring this up to 100%, that's gonna bring all of these modules flush to the edges and it's gonna keep this word perfectly centered. So you could do this depending on your site design. You could actually throw this row width in your CSS and you could keep that completely at 100%, which would solve some of your problems with that overlapping text as well. Uh, so just a couple little tricks I wanted to show you there. I use I use both of these tricks periodically throughout all my designs, particularly this one right here to where I will try to adjust the font size but I wanna get it to where it's not overlapping on those other rows and it's also not extending past the viewport there on mobile. So yeah, just wanted to show you guys that. It's a nifty little trick. If you ever get in that situation where you're finding that your titles or your long words are breaking, just throw overflow wrap normal in your CSS. You can put that in your style sheet or go into Divi and put it in your custom CSS and just make sure that's going in the right section, whether that's your headings, maybe that's, you know, typically you could put it right here and you're in this little section here, you could just copy all this and plop that in there and then you're gonna be good to go. And uh, yeah, hopefully it's a handy trick that helps you guys out. All right, cheers guys.